Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In this video, we're doing a quick comparison between DDR4 RAM and DDR5 RAM. Before we get started with that, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this video is specifically addressing gamers, video editors, and potentially animators or digital artists. All right, so we're gonna be talking about these CPU intensive processes and how RAM can affect that, and whether DDR5 may be worth an upgrade over DDR4, et cetera. Now, to start off, we'll talk about some benchmarks and some specs. Next up, we'll talk about cost. And finally, we'll draw our conclusions on whether you should upgrade. Okay, so I'm referring to a diagram here. We're gonna put this on the screen for you guys to see in case you wanted to screenshot it or pause it. So DDR4 has a mega transfer rate of approximately 1600 to somewhere around 3200 as the top end speed. And impressively, DDR5 starts out at around 3200. So DDR5 is starting at the kind of maximum speed of DDR4. So we have a pretty significant jump in mega transfers per second. So what exactly do those speeds mean? Well, in short, DDR5, well, in short, DDR5 is kind of twice as fast as DDR4. And to get fast RAM, generally speaking, DDR5 would actually be less expensive. Now, keep in mind that a double in data rate does not equal a double in performance. All right, so to compare some costs really quick, I've pulled up here the Vengeance Series 32 gigs. So this is two 16 gigabyte sticks of RAM from Corsair with a speed of 3000 mega transfers a second. This is a total price of just about $80. And the same thing in DDR5 with almost double the data rate of 6000 mega transfers per second is not that much more expensive at right around 130 US dollars. DDR5 compared to DDR4 memory, for example, when running video games has seen an average of around seven to 15% better frame rate performance. Now here comes the big question. Should you upgrade to DDR5? The short answer is if you have capable enough DDR4 memory, it's probably wise to either stick with that or purchase additional RAM sticks unless you plan to rebuild your entire PC. And the reason for this is that you have to also switch your motherboard and make sure that all of the rest of your components are compatible if you're upgrading to DDR5. Now for new PC builders, the general consensus is just get DDR5 as it's generally faster and better. And as we saw, not that much more expensive. I'm personally running 64 gigs of DDR5 in this PC. And between all my programs, I have a very smooth performance overall. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas that you may have for us. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated and it helps support the channel, allowing us to make more videos like these. Thanks again for watching. We'll see y'all in the next one.